Westlaw Next is a great resource for finding primary and secondary legal documents. Use the Browse section if you're not looking for anything specific. You can find federal or state documents, or you can look for resources related to a specific area of law. For instance, if I'm interested in labor and employment law, I can click Practice Areas and then select Labor and Employment. Then I can choose the type of document I'm interested in, or I can use the search box at the top of the page. Notice that my search will only retrieve results related to labor and employment now that I have selected that specific subject area. If you're looking for something specific, you can just use the search box at the top of the page. Make sure you're searching all Westlaw content, not just a specific subject area. Then enter the title of a case, such as Marbury v. Madison. Notice that the drop-down next to the search box says All Federal. I can click that to limit to all states, a specific state, or a specific federal court. For this example, I can leave All Federal selected. Then I can just choose the correct case from the results list. You can also use the search box to enter a citation. Legal citations are formatted differently than APA citations. Check out the citing using Harvard Blue Book style videos for more information. For instance, if I wanted to find the section of the U.S. Code that discusses taxable gifts, I could enter 26 U.S.C. 2503. Now when I press search, this will take me directly to Title 26, Section 2503 of the U.S. Code. Notice that Westlaw citation says USCA, which indicates that this is the annotated version of the U.S. Code. Once you have found the legal document you're interested in, there are a couple of things to be aware of. At the top of the page, you may see a yellow or red flag. A red flag indicates that the legal document is no longer valid. A yellow flag indicates either that the legal document has received negative treatment and parts of it might not be valid, or that the legislation has not yet been passed. Click the flag to learn more. Click the tabs along the top for more information, such as the history and the documents that have cited this source. For statutes and regulations, you will see the information you need to cite the legal document and then the full text of the legislation. The currentness link tells you how recently a piece of legislation has been updated. For cases, any parallel citations will be listed just under the title. You will find all of the information you need to cite the source at the top. Following that, you will find a brief summary of the case and the court's decision. Make sure you do read the full case. The summary does not provide enough information for you to understand the legal issues at hand. The headnotes section shows the main legal issues at play in the case. Click any of the headnotes to find other cases that discuss the same issue. After the headnotes, you may find a syllabus or another summary, then the names of the attorneys involved, and then the court's opinion. Throughout the text, you will see green numbers. These numbers indicate what page the content would be on if you were looking at the case in print. You need this information in order to properly cite the case. If there are any concurring or dissenting statements, you will find those at the end of the opinion. At the bottom of the page, you will find all parallel citations and any footnotes. To generate an automatic citation, simply highlight the text you want and click Copy with Reference. The text and citation are automatically copied. When you paste that into a word processor, make sure to verify that the citation is accurate in its Harvard Blue Book format.